Only a week or so now post surgery. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, it's gone really quick um, since the surgery, but yeah, um, first week of rehab's gone through and I'm currently the second week, but yeah, feeling good at the minute. It was a, an issue, a hernia issue that was troubling you towards the back end of last season. I think you, you were managed, weren't you, it's fair to say, towards the back end of the campaign. How nice is it now to, to have had the operation and get that problem solved? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was carrying it through, yeah, like you said, the back end of last season and had some rest and thought that I could slowly build it up again, but it was still a bit of a niggle coming into pre-season. I felt fit and I, I got to myself to a good level. It's just that uh, we felt it was best to, to get it dealt with, which I'm happy with. Mm. And to get it done so early as well, so that the recovery time shouldn't really eat into the season, should it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's never nice to, uh, to miss any, any time out, but if it's going to be any time, it's going to be during pre-season. Mm. But I know what I'm like. I'm still a little bit frustrated, but if it's going to be any time, like I said, it's going to be now. Is it about being honest with yourself during the recovery process as well? You don't want to be rushing things, but also you want to make sure that you're, you're ready and raring to go come the final weekend in July. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I've got time and I want to take, do the right things and do it properly, so it's not a problem throughout the season. But um, we've set the first thing I wanted to do was set myself a time scale to get back within, but I'll give myself a bit of leeway and, and just make sure I'm doing the right thing. So mm. I'm back backfiring. You've managed to stay close to the lads as well. They've been doing little 11-a-side games on, on the turf here at, at Cantley Park. You've been doing your laps and getting your running in. Has, has that helped you? You don't feel too far away from, from what's going on? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's better being with the lads. I mean, that first week I had to be at home sort of resting and it's you're just not really doing much and you feel out of it. But once you're back in the building with the boys and with the staff, you can start to gain that connection again. And like I've come back this year and the squad's really close and... There's a, a big difference to last season, which is positive. Has it been helpful that there's been more new lads through the door? You're not the new guy now, are you, as you were 12 months ago? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I feel more settled and, and I feel like I can crack on and have a, a solid season ahead. But then it's also my job to help the new ones um, settle in well, like the boys did before with me, and uh, make sure we all have a successful season. Yeah, the goals were set, the targets were set on the, the first day. How much did that help everyone? You, you know what you're aiming for, everyone's pulling in the same direction. Yeah, definitely. I think it's something that we missed last year and, and you're not really going in any sort of direction. But this year, yeah, we've set ourselves clear targets. Everyone's on board and knows what we need to do. It's just about uh, putting things in place and doing it. There's been subtle changes around the place as well, hasn't there? A few different members of the, the coaching staff. Steve Ayres, of course, has, has taken on more of a hands-on hands role alongside the manager. He's been a real focal point, hasn't he, for the lads throughout the, these first few weeks? Yeah, definitely. He's a big character, a big voice, and he's got a lot of experience. And, and the boys have a lot of respect for him. And uh, when he speaks, you listen. So, yeah, he uh, plays a key role in the setup. And, yeah, it's good having him there. Mm. The group in general seems to be in real vibrant mood. Uh, you wouldn't really know that, of course, six, seven weeks ago, you went through the, the heartbreak of relegation. It, it seems like the page very quickly turned and, and it's like, right, now the focus is on getting ourselves back up there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was difficult for the boys that obviously went down like myself, but you, you have that time time off and you have that time to yourself and then you come back with a real hunger to, to set things right. And the new lads coming in the building know what we want to achieve and it's just about everyone coming together and, and achieving that goal. Did you use that period as, as a bit of reflection then, the, the five or six weeks you have away from here? Was it used to sort of psych yourself up and, and get yourself ready to go come day one? Yeah, definitely. It was it was key. I mean, I, I'd, I'd use that period every off-season, no matter how the season turned out. But obviously last season was difficult. And during them difficult periods, you, you learn a lot about yourself and, and about everything to do with football. And it's just about using that experience in the right way for this season going forward. And your last season in, in League Two with Cambridge, you were making a bit of a name for yourself, weren't you? A yeah. fair few assists, team of the year. Is that the sort of targets you're setting for yourself this season as well? Yeah, definitely. My, my targets and goals are always high and, and, and they'll, they'll be on my list of targets to achieve. But yeah, I want to kick on and, and do my best for the team to make sure that we can achieve our, uh, our goal.